In this video, I interview Paul, a lecturer at the University of Ghana who came here to China to do his PhD in natural product chemistry. That's it. And he's going to share with you his experiences learning Chinese. And at the end, he'll tell you the best way to study and up your Chinese if you're a university student or professional working here in China. Chinese. All right. Um, someone is taking a video of us already. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, it's gonna happen. To right. okay. We're famous. <laughs> We're basketball players. <laughs> Lancho. Um, we could sign a signature probably. <laughs> Tell him to buy a basketball. And... In 2013, September of 2013, I came here on an exchange program. Okay. I lecture in the University of Ghana. Okay. And then there's this collaboration we have with the Tian University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. So I came over to do my PhD, which is supposed to be for like three years. We had an hour for Tuesdays and two hours for um, Thursdays in learning something about Chinese. Huh. The whole idea was to be integrated into the community and then again you'll be work working with Chinese people. So it's important that you get to know your way around, okay. like you get to talk up to the people, you find your way around, basically. So that was the general motivation for studying Chinese. You had to survive. Yeah, I had, had to, to survive. Eat. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed my time with it actually, because then my teacher brought in the culture, tried to explain why words are said this way, and what a traditional person would say it, and how they can tell that, okay, this person is new at this whole language thing. Why don't I answer and then you edit your question and then bring it in? Because I feel the vibe. I want to answer it already. So when my dean, the dean of my university, came here, I was helping him out, you know, showing him places, buying, helping him to buy stuff, and then I'm able to talk to these people in Chinese. I'm able to bargain in Chinese. I mean, I'm doing all my things, are, and then my dean is like. Paul, you're good, you know, yeah. So good marks like for you, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I like that feel. Yeah, the proficiency does call you points, points that in your mind you wouldn't have expected would be a benefit to you in the long run. You're a guy who likes to help out. Generally, I think that's what life is about, right? Yeah. Being there for each other, so when you can, yeah, okay. do the best you can. All right. Yeah. This is a good guy. <laughs> I try. Paul's been in China for quite a few years now, he knows his way around as a student and a professional. If you're in Ghana or you're in another country and thinking about coming to China, get in touch with him. We're going to put links in the description Down there. to all his social media accounts. Paul Rainmaker. And my research publications are available at ResearchGate. He has spent a good amount of time helping new university students who are just adjusting to life in China get situated. I trust that he can help you and introduce you to the right people in China. If you like this video, it's brought value to you. Share it to somebody, subscribe, subscribe get it to as many people as possible. Was there something about my favorite quote or scene or something quote. like that? No, yeah. but add it. Not yeah, because okay, now this is my favorite saying in Chinese. When you are doing experiments, there are a lot of challenges. It's an up and down kind of thing. That's why they call it research, by the way. And then my friend goes like, Paul, always go with this quote. Swan Tian Kula Xian, Ren Shen Bai Wei. Which means Explain that, that. Um, sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, salty. Okay. Uh, life is a potpourri of experiences. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. But all these come together to bring you the vitality, the energy in life. And so yes, whatever you're going through, whether you're up there or down there, remember, Swan Tian Kula Xian, Ren Shen Bai Wei. Swan Tian Kula Xian, Ren Shen Bai Wei. Ren Shen Bai Wei. I, you, you, I'm gonna write that down after. Oh, all right. and learn. I've never heard of that. Oh, so okay. I can learn something new too, all right? <laughs> Ren Shen Bai Wei. Yeah. Uh, uh, life is like that, yeah. such is your life. Life has a hundred flavors? By okay, way. you yeah. could you could put okay. it that way. Yeah, yeah like the, the beautiful life. Oh. Truth is, I can only speak Chinese. I cannot read Chinese, oh. and I cannot write Chinese. Okay. I tried in the beginning, but damn, they are difficult. I have They're to memorize easy. so many characters, and my teacher is like, there, there's a stroke order. You cannot just write what you see. There's a particular pattern you need to follow, and mm. that, that was it for me. Mm. I, I couldn't combine that with with the research work I was doing. But you have a doctorate degree uh -huh. in 
product natural, natural product, product chemistry chemistry yeah. so i can understand if you didn't have the leftover brain power <laughs> to learn some characters it, it looks like it's a difficult thing naming this character yeah. then because uh, now i don't want you to think that if a phd holder chemistry product natural product natural chemistry, product chemistry, get it chemistry right, P P phd holder can't do it you can't no you can't you just did it <laughs> What is your advice to somebody like you who's in China, or maybe who's even studying Chinese now? What would you tell them to do to get the most out of their Chinese, or to improve the most, or to get the best results? Trying to practice with whoever, wherever the opportunity presents itself. There's this problem we are likely to have if you are an expert who is in a community that you are surrounded by people who speak the language you do, English. Mm -hmm. yep. You are likely to be more comfortable with them, and so you roll with them. Yeah. And in doing that, you would realize that you are speaking more English than you are even practicing your Chinese. Yep. Yep. One challenge I noticed. Okay. And so I think that try and make a lot more Chinese folks as friends. So practice, practice, use all the avenues that are available to you, social media, personal contact with them like that. Branch out. That's the word, branch, branch out. out. You, on purpose it seems, made the most out of your everyday opportunities. Mm, like that, like that. And that's what I talk about. If you haven't read it yet, the ebook that I wrote, Eight Effective Ways, I wrote an ebook, Eight okay. Effective Ways to Learn Chinese. That's, that's one of the tips. Immerse locally in the context. All right. And talk yeah. to people. Yeah. So it helps. It helps. Okay. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Hey, come on, anytime, Thank you for man. Sharing that. <laughs> Use his advice. If you're studying, make the most out of your everyday opportunities. Maybe learn to write the characters, but don't hesitate to make friends. Even if you have to speak English a bit to make a friend, that friendship will become a bridge that the language communication in Chinese later on can go across. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Perfectly. Perfect. On point. Yeah. Wow. Good. Mm. What's the Chinese phrase or just word that you use the most? Pianyi diar. Never forget that. <laughs> uh, yeah, explain. I use it all the time. Right. Swedima, <laughs> I use it all the time. Because uh, then most of the prices out there on the market are not fixed. You can get a little discount if you uh -huh. go like P in the R. So uh -huh. usually it's a phrase I would use a lot if I'm buying stuff out there on the open this market. Is, this is practical. P in the R. Swedima, those are the very the phrases I use nearly all the time. It matters, because they see us, we don't look Chinese. Uh, yeah, so the, the price up, up, is up. there, <laughs> true. Paul, thanks Hi. for being here. Again, this is Kuejo, uh -huh. creator at elementarychinese.com. Good, good, good study, day, day out. That's High it, five, yeah. man. Elementarychinese.com. The YouTube card is up yeah, there. Over there, Or yeah. over here, for one Probably. of those places. Mm -hmm. Or there's a link to the free ebook, Eight Effective Ways to Learn Chinese in the description. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Hey. You know they have it in Mandarin? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, 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 in this video, I interview Paul, a lecturer in Ghana who came here to do his PhD in product natural chemistry. In natural product chemistry. No! <laughs> uh, I can't do it. Can that be okay? Can that be okay? <laughs> product natural, no, there's nothing like that. Natural <laughs> In this video, uh -huh. I interview Paul, uh -huh. a lecturer at Ghana. In <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. A lecturer at the University of Ghana. Okay.